Okay, we've made it to the last video of the SAT Math Bootcamp. If you stuck it out this long, congrats. Uh, you've made an investment into your SAT success. Let's finish up with geometric probability, a very rare topic. It does come up occasionally, so we got to make sure we at least know how to do it. So geometric probability is basically a probability question using areas of particular shapes. So let's imagine I have some circle, and I divide this into eight equal sectors, eight equal slices. And I shade, let's say, this one in, and I shade this one, and I shade this. And the question might ask, what if I threw a dart at this, say it's a dartboard, what is the probability, you know, I throw it kind of randomly, what is the probability that the dart will land in a shaded area? So again, what is probability? Well, it's just the total number of outcomes, satisfactory outcomes, over the total. Right, the number of total possible outcomes that are good and then over the total outcomes that are good and maybe don't work. So what would it look like here? Well, for geometry, for shaded geometry problems, it's basically the area of the shaded regions over the total area. Right, that's what corresponds to this probability equation. Now, what is the, now we can't really find the area of this directly, but we do know that since these are eight equal pieces, this represents three-eighths of the total. So this particular example would be three-eighths, right? So pretty straightforward when it comes down to that. Uh, you might see a problem like this. So for instance, you might see here is a circle with radius six. Here's another circle with radius three. And we're gonna shade this one in. Same question, what is the probability of, if I threw a dart, it would land in the shaded region. Well, again, you put the area of the shaded region, which in this case, it's a circle. Pi r squared is the area. Radius is three, so it's gonna be pi three squared over the total area, which is the area of the entire circle, which is gonna be pi six squared, because six is the radius. The pi's cancel. Up top, we have nine. Up bottom, on the bottom, we've got 36. So we got one quarter. And that would be the answer to this. Note, we can do a little estimation on these problems too. To, if we can't get the answer directly, at least we can figure it out uh, based on ballparking or estimation. Because notice, and this picture is not great. Imagine we got Let's imagine this was to scale. Let me actually make this a little bit bigger. By looking at this, we can say, well, this shaded area is about a quarter or so of the area of this entire circle. So if I were looking for again the the probability of this, I would say, well, it's about a quarter. So it's going to be something around a quarter. So 50% wouldn't work, 75% wouldn't work, you know, 10% wouldn't work. That might help me narrow down, if not directly to the answer, at least to a good choice.